Hey guys, welcome back to Poplar Ridge. If you're new here, my name is John, and uh, we've been doing um, everything we can to get ready for pigs. And of course, they arrived before I was completely ready. Um, so just this uh, weekend, I built this um, very simple pig waterer out of some uh, simple components, um, a, a cheap food grade blue 55 gallon drum that I found on uh, Facebook Marketplace for $15 and then a few simple PVC parts and some pig nipples, um, nipple waterers that um, they just bite down on and it's free flow. Um, so this um, particular waterer I found um, online on YouTube, of course, it's my go-to resource. And I would like to thank Watts Way Farm. You guys go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below, but he's the one I found um, originally that built this. Um, and he has a real nice video explanation on what he did and how he put this together and I basically just copied him and used his links um, for the uh, the pieces and parts through Amazon and then I picked up all the local or the PVC stuff at a local hardware store so um, I will leave links in the description below of what I purchased and maybe a description of why I purchased that not everything I bought like these nipple waterers are not the cheapest you can buy um, but they are higher quality and include things like um, a screen to keep um, junk from going inside of the water itself so that uh, it doesn't get clogged up as they're using it. So um, come along with us today and I'll show you how we put this thing together. Before I can reach this stuff and say what it is. Okay, here we go. And action. Tell them about what we're doing. Today we're making a pig waterer. Nice. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Alright guys, so the key to the whole system is these Uniseal um, bulkheads. They are a press fit rubber grommet. There's no back on these, so you can actually leave the top of your blue barrel um, intact. You don't have to cut it open. There are plastic versions of these out there where you have to get your hand down inside and screw a back onto it. Um, but what's special about these is they press into place, and then when you push your pipe through this, it'll actually flare it out and hold it in place and keep it from leaking. So these Uniseal, I picked these up off of Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description below. These are the three-quarter size for a three-quarter piece of pipe to go through. So this hole in the middle is three-quarters, but you need an inch and a quarter hole saw um, for this outer ring to press through. So it'll be a tight fit, it'll push in and pop into place, and then there's like a little ridge on this that'll hold it in place until you push that pipe through. So that's what this is. Uh, then we just have some adapters and reducers um, that will thread into place um, and go on our pipe. So we'll glue those together and get this all put together before we push it through that uniseal. And that will take our um, pig nipple water. So um, really all that's going to be sticking out of this barrel is from that coupler forward. Uh, the rest will be... Um, through the uniseal into the barrel itself. So it's a pretty simple system um, and it's flexible and easy to put together. You can unscrew these nipples and they actually have a screen in here um, in case it, it gets debris or something inside there you can clean this thing out and take it all apart um, to clean them up. Pig nipple waters also came off of Amazon. They're a heavy duty um, version. So this material is all for that and then I'm actually going to make one more barrel that's going to be used for filling my water barrel so rather than taking this out of 
of the pig pen every single time, I'm gonna have one that I can put in the back of my Ranger. Um, and uh, same thing, I'm gonna use a uniseal with a pipe through it, um, a valve on the outside that connects to a hose barb fitting. So I can just open this up and then uh, I'll attach a hose on the end and run it from my Ranger to um, wherever I have my water set up so that I don't have to pull the one out of the field um, or their paddock every time I move them. So um, I'm doing two barrels today, um, but really all you need for the water is this uh, material here. So we will get started and get this put together and show you what it looks like. So we're just gonna mark a couple spots where uh, we want these waters to come through. Um, I'm gonna put them at various heights uh, so that, you know, the pigs can get them from uh, different locations, different size pigs. I'm going to be using these over and over again so when they're young they'll drink from the lower ones and then as they grow we might have a couple various um, heights for them to drink out of. Pigs really like to reach up and have their neck pointed upwards when they drink. Um, so you can set this up on cinder blocks or ratchet strap it to a tree and put some blocks under it or something just to keep it from, um, you know, to, to get it to the height that you want as well. So I'm going to put one at around six inches. I'm going to put another one up here. Maybe around nine and a half inches. Just eyeballing this. And maybe one over here at seven inches. So on these um, little adapters that I'm have, I have, these are PVC, they're threaded. I went ahead and put a little Teflon tape on there. I'm sure somewhere watching this video right now, there's a plumber that's freaking out because you're not supposed to put Teflon tape on uh, PVC. But I just did a wrap or two and there's no pressure on this system. This is just to keep slow leaks from happening. So we're not worried about um, these busting or anything like that because it's going to be a a pressure-free um, system. Okay, so here's um, one of the nipple systems put together. Um, I cut my PVC right about seven inches long. That's just to give it some room to get back inside the barrel and um, you don't want it so short that it's just barely sticking through the barrel because you don't want this pulling out when the pigs pull on it. So um, that just gives it some extra length inside the barrel. Um, of course, you're, um, when you put it in, in there, make sure the nipple's facing upwards where they um, push down on it with their mouth or their, their teeth to get the water to come out. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to bring you in close and show you snapping in these um, uniseals. So here's an up-close um, shot of this uniseal. This is the back side that'll be inside of your um, barrel there and this will be outside facing out so it just creates a rubber grommet type seal. That's it. Just snaps in just like that. As I mentioned the key will be once you push that pipe through there it's going to flare that out and create a watertight seal. All right. I'm going to just put a little water on this.
guys. That's pretty simple, I think. Um, the nice part, I think, about these is there is some flexibility to that uniseal, and um, it's not going to pull out very easily. Um, pigs probably are notorious for tearing things up, and it's possible they could tear this up, but we'll just have to see how it goes here in the long run. Flies and who knows what all. So you're saying if it created a vacuum, it wouldn't come out at all? I, I think it would just come out slower. Oh, okay. Probably still come out. But. That's pretty sweet. Where'd you get the nipples at? Amazon. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look really nice quality. Yeah, they were they were not the cheapest ones. I bought ones that were heavier duty. Did they can be taken apart. They've got a screen. Here's a. So you can just replace this nipple each time you need to replace them. Yeah. If the rest. Or if something breaks, you you could pull this out and or even cut that you know grommet off and stuff another one back in there. But That's really neat going. Here's a. See, they've got a screen on the back side to keep it oh, from getting like a filter. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And stuff like that. You could take that off there and clean it out and take it apart if you need to. 